All right, welcome to our open range Roma 367 BHS 2015 fifth wheel. Let's start with a tour of the outside. Uh, just to begin here, we've got loads of storage underneath. Uh, you can fit a generator under there. Strong arm stabilizers down there make it a lot steadier than uh, most big rigs. I'll just open this up for you so you can see inside heaps of storage. Uh, two LPG uh, propane bottles there, another two on this side, and they actually slide out through these doors here. Uh, you just slide them out there. Through storage here, that goes right the way through to the other side, so you could fit bikes in there, maybe even a small kayak. A uh, huge window in the door, lets in loads of light. We've got new tyres that were purchased about six months ago, four new tyres. Around here we have our outdoor kitchen, one of my favourite things. With a fridge, microwave, there's another one inside, uh, sink and two burner stove. Uh, storage in there which we've never even used. At the back there's a cargo tray, so you can carry stuff as you're travelling. Ladder goes up to the fully walkable roof. Around here underneath the bunkhouse. Just talking about the uh, the jacks as I go past them, you'll see here, you basically just pull that pin out, drop it down so it's close to the ground, push the pin back in, and then hit the auto leveling button, and that then does the rest. It's very easy to set up, very quick. Here we have an outdoor shower. Uh, this is a hot and cold shower, and the hookups for cable TV, uh, there's Xtel PowerPoints everywhere. There's about another three or four of those hidden around the uh, exterior, so there's loads of stuff if you're wanting to power stuff outside. Uh, this I actually hooked up wrongly today. It usually just goes in through this uh, uh, bottom hole, <coughs> up through the hole here, and that way you can actually close the door. That's the other through storage. It comes out again here, more LPG bottles. And that is pretty much it for the outside. Um, Let's go around and have a look. There's a power awning and uh, my wife. <laughs> now let's go and show you the inside. All right, come on in. Here we've got the living room and the kitchen. Great thing I love about this living room is the huge sofa. All four of us can just stretch out there and relax because these tables are also removable. So you can have them removed and just really spread out, or you can have them there and have dinner around there. You can also convert this into a double bed. We've used that before where the table's just removed and there's a double bed behind there. Storage under the sofa bed as well, and you know, these things come out, so it's no reaching under all the way to the back trying to get to stuff. Over this side, we've got our kitchen. Loads of bench space on either side of the sink. There's also another tabletop here, um, you know, just like this, so you can use both sinks or none at all if you want more bench space. This comes out. Uh, loads of bench space on either side of the stove as well. What I love about the storage here is that a lot of the storage in this RV really comes to you. You know, so you pull that out, everything's there. You don't have to reach into or clean in the very back bits. You know, right down to the bin. You know, there's a bin hidden right here. Lots and lots of room for storage and food. Uh, we use you know, here's obviously the good size kitchen, uh, sorry, good size fridge, pantry here. Uh, you can also use, you know, this is extra pantry space, although we're actually using it as storage for kids' clothes. And we use this stuff for, you know, kitchen area and there's more food down there. So we've never ever had an issue with storage in this kitchen. You know, we do a full shop, you know, we can go for a week or two without having to restock because uh, there's even more room up there above the table all right so that's the living area and if we come through this section i'll take you into the kids room which is a huge kids room loads of room there's one bunk on this side and another bunk on this side full size bunks lots of room storage everywhere one there Another there that goes all the way behind here as well. There's a sofa here, which also converts into a single bed. And table here, which also converts into a double bed. The 
this having a table here is just really really unusual and also really really good um, you know we love being able to give the kids their separate space you know someone will be working at a table here someone will be working at the table there and uh, it just means that you know we can live in this thing for for ages and never really feel like we're getting un under each other's feet because there's just so much room I'll show you a bit of the storage space here uh, kids wardrobe more space down there and extra space which we're using for shoe racks and stuff down there this uh, ceiling height here is, is great for the kids uh, when I'm under there I flip that up and and uh, it gives a bit more head height but the kids can use it in the down position more storage space under there as well so you know this is like having a proper bedroom you know, a lot of RVs for kids you know, there's really not much space in the you know, in the kids section but in here there's room to play to get changed um, you know homeschool whatever you wanted to do in there it's a little play area for the kids and best of all you can just shut the door and have a bit of peace sometimes Now, at the other end of the house, up here, is the master bedroom. It's a queen size bed, and this bed also flips up to have lots of storage space underneath. And to this side, there's a what you can either use as a wardrobe, as I'm doing here, uh, or you can actually use that as a spot for a dryer. We have a washing machine behind door number two which is included and that's actually a washer dryer combo so no more trips to the laundry every couple of days uh, door number three is hanging space some drawers uh, we actually use a printer here more space up the top there and behind here just to show you the size of the wardrobes you know full floor to ceiling space there so you're definitely not going to be short Oh, wardrobe space in here. Alright, into the ensuite now. Now, this ensuite is also pretty much a self enclosed bathroom because it's got two doors. So, if you, you know, if the kids want to come in through the middle of the night, they can just sort of come in through here, open up this door, and they don't really have to come into the bedroom, so we're not disturbed, which is great. But if we were to come into this bedroom, sorry, this side of the bathroom, you can see here. Uh, more cupboard space, lots of drawers. Uh, this one actually opens up for a bit more table space if you want to put a I don't know, hair dryer or something down there. I've never used it. Uh, this is the uh, shower, which is huge. You know, I'm six foot three and I've never had a problem showering here. There's loads of room. This uh, shower head also has one of those on off things at the shower head. So if you're really, you know, if you're boondocking, you want to conserve water, you can just flip it off there without having to turn the taps on and off here. Uh, enough room in there to get, you know, changed and dried without feeling cramped. Really nice uh, basin. More storage space here. Now let's go out this way. And we're back into the main living area. Alright, so, that's the tour. Um, I did forget to mention the heating and cooling. These are in all three rooms. You'll find one of these in both bedrooms. You know, it's got a fan, air conditioner, furnace. And that's ducted heating through the floor and through the ceiling as well. So loads of uh, loads of comforts. I've probably forgotten a whole bunch of stuff as I'm giving you this tour, but hopefully this little walkthrough has given you a bit of an idea as to how much room and how comfy it is and how well appointed it is, and and also just a bit of the the quality. You know, everything's just been designed really nicely. We've never really had any any issues at all with anything here. It's been a really, really good quality RV. So there you go. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, if you have any questions, just get in touch.